Hello, I'm Tony Pearson, Managing Director of Sales Operations UK, here with another one of our Sales Actions videos. Each of these videos are around five minutes long and it's geared up around giving you one specific action that you can take from watching this video which will help you drive your sales results forwards. So today I'm talking about existing customer sales. I'm just going to outline four ways in which you can sell to your existing customer base. I want to give an understanding of these four um, actions, if you like, for strategies, and I'm going to do four follow-up videos to give you a specific action in each area that you can take, that you can bring in to sell into your existing customer base. It's a huge area that I feel companies I work with can be doing a lot more in. People are always very focused on where the next sale is going to come from, and can spend a lot of time, money and effort generating the next customer when they aren't fully maximising the customer base they already have. They aren't communicating enough with that customer base, understanding enough about that customer base, taking enough action with that customer base, so that they can generate a lot more profit. Generally, it's a much shorter route to your next sale, a more profitable exercise, because you're not having to build the trust again. These are people who know you, and like you, and trust you, and are willing to um, do more business with you if they're fully aware of all the things you can be doing for them and you communicate with them effectively. So what I want as a result of this video is that you to write down these four areas and start to have a think about what you currently do in each of these four areas to maximise the sales that you have to your existing customers. The four areas are, number one, upselling. Upselling, so that's basically when you are taking an order, anything else that you can add to that order where it, it relates to that specific need. So the world's most famous upsell is, would you like fries with that? If somebody's ordering a burger at McDonald's, they will ask, would you like fries with that? It's, um, it's meeting that particular need for that customer at the moment in terms of the customer has a need for that meal, is hungry, whatever. Uh, but it driving up the value of that sale with that customer at that point. It's also um, something that I feel isn't done that well in certain shops you go into where they have offers on the counter. They're trying to upsell the value of the customer, but quite often those products don't relate to what you're purchasing, what your need is, and that's where it can be done well or badly. We'll talk more about that in the second video as well. Uh, the second one is repeat business. Two, repeat. When will your customer next have a need for that product or service? How regularly can you service them with what it is that they're purchasing? Number three is cross-selling. What other products or services can you be delivering to that customer? So to begin to cross-sell to a customer, it's good to have the first transaction firmly out of the way, you've got a happy customer, and then you're able to begin to introduce further products and services to them. Number four, finally, is referral business. So who else can they re refer your way? Each company I work with has a different weighting for these four areas, as in some do a lot of upselling, McDonald's, uh, Subway, other food places like that, um, some companies rely on a lot of repeat work, so service-based business where they're getting monthly contracts in place and, and it's about renewing those contracts. Cross-selling, so if you're, for example, an office stationary business, you're going to have a wide range of products that you can continue to introduce new things into that customer base. And referrals, so a lot of professionals, um, you know, IFAs, mortgage advisors, those kind of people rely on referrals because they'll only transact with their customers every so often but they have a higher level of trust and so they get their next customer from getting referrals. So not every company does a lot in each area but you need to be doing something in each area and understand what you currently do and what else we could be doing in order to maximise the value of the existing customer base. So action for this video, write down these four areas, upselling, ref uh, repeat business, uh, cross-selling and referral business and I'll do four more videos, one for each area, giving you some specific actions that you can take in order to enhance uh, your potential in each of those areas. Thank you.